Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about Team Liquid, but also more so talking about Alfari and Freak, because Freak had a take on the LCS desk this weekend that we are going to go over, uh, and I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions about and hopefully get your guys' thoughts and opinions as well, because I think it was honestly a really really bad take but also kind of an interesting one maybe get some, some thoughts going maybe get some discussion going uh freak you know has kind of had a really really weird year where uh he's gone through like so many different phases and evolutions and recently he's been like savage freak or, or whatever just kind of throwing around hot takes and trying to roast people and stuff so it's been super super weird but there's been a lot of different thoughts and opinions and everything being thrown around about team liquid uh, i mean this weekend um it's been interesting they played FlyQuest, who obviously is a FlyQuest academy team they've been kind of hot but team liquid did end up taking them down which was good but then after a loss to dignitas um you know some people are kind of worried about this team some people are kind of not feeling so great about them because we're we, they're just after this week there's one more week in the regular season and then there's playoffs and then you're going to start playing for championships worlds all this stuff uh and the future of team liquid is really up in the air at this point so definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i'd appreciate it so so much subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content and consider checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash i am germ if you want to go uh, that extra mile supporting my channel my content and myself with that being said here we go let's check out i mean let's just start out by checking out this take from freak um we'll, we'll talk about you know more team liquid stuff in a second but i, I just want to set the stage with what freak had to say here first um because i did think it was really really interesting and again the lcs analyst desk has gotten so many like so much bad feedback people say it's so boring people say it's too long people say the analysts suck people say they're not interesting enough they need to do more they need to be more exciting more interesting maybe this is freak trying to do that maybe they're trying to you know throw out some stronger takes some stronger opinions get people riled up get people fired up get people talking about them get people making videos about them you know maybe i'm playing right into this maybe this was their idea which that's fine you know great whatever i don't have to agree with everything they say but um this is what freak had to say but yes. the point is it's not working and you're getting these leads in lane but you're not getting leads for the team alfari is a very good player who has never been on a good team or you can sidestep being with a good coach or whatever like the he clearly doesn't know how to convert his leads into winning. And, and whatever is, is that he has to be more vocal or seems to understand how to play around winning top, like whatever it is, right? Alfari gets ahead, they do not turn into wins. That happened in the LEC, it's happening in the LCS. It's a yes. But the point is... So, uh, obviously, a, a very, very hot take, some very, very strong words. Freak is getting very, very passionate about this. He's, he's getting a little bit fired up. And it's interesting. It, it is very, very interesting. And at surface value, you know, the, the rest of the analyst desk kind of just tends to agree with them where I wish somebody would have fired back a little bit. Um, but what I think is really, really interesting here is it's not even true. <laughs> the take is, is just pretty much just false. Like, I, I hate saying that it's just wrong because so much of this stuff is opinions and, and you know, I, I like getting the uh, the analysis going, the debates going back and forth, and I hate just, uh, you know, people people who just randomly are like, yo, you're wrong, you're an idiot, blah, blah, blah. Like, I think that stuff is so dumb. But in this instance, I think Freak is just flat out wrong, and I don't even think it's opinion. I think this, like, just factually, um, even just taking a look at his time in NA, think back a couple of months ago not even years ago not even a full year ago nothing alfari was second place in the mvp voting in spring split alfari played on the team that won the preseason tournament finished second in the regular season finished second uh in the playoffs obviously barely losing out to cloud nine and this was with a uh sub jungler who was playing with the team for about two weeks lost to cloud nine who then went on to msi and beat damn one beat rng had some good showings, had some good games, showed a ton of potential. Team Liquid was just a little bit of a fraction behind them, losing in a five-game series with Armeo in the jungle. And not even Armeo, you know, maybe you think he's good, maybe you think he's fine, whatever. I'm not trying to hate on Armeo. I'm saying this is Armeo coming in with less than two weeks playing with the team after having played an academy the entire split being thrown in there last minute. Alfari was a huge portion of what this team was able to do last year. Yeah, he didn't have the greatest final series. Yeah, he died for like four out of the five first bloods or, or whatever. Um, you know, he was dying a lot. Uh, and Cloud9 was able to punish that well. Team Liquid was not able to play around that well. Again, I think you could just uh, kind of uh, go back to the jungle situation with that where this is a new jungler he's not able to cover the top lane well maybe they don't know how to play around it and then this split if you want to talk about Alfari gaining leads and not being able to convert to wins 
this is a team game at the end of the day. One, Alfari, this is his second full week playing in the LCS. Last week, he was splitting scrims with Jenkins, and he split stage time with, Jen with Jenkins two weeks ago. Last week, he finally played a full week. This week, his second full week back in the LCS, where... It's going to take time. Team Liquid was playing an entirely different style, an entirely different strategy with Jenkins before, and now Alfari's trying to come back in. I'm not saying that Alfari should not be able to be criticized. Hey, he does absolutely have some issues, but I'm just saying that should be a little bit to be expected two or three weeks into a huge break that he just took after all the drama, all the craziness. Maybe he's having personal issues. Maybe he's being toxic with the team. Whatever is going on. That is very, very understandable. And also, again, it is a team game. Taking a look, he has a Academy jungler in our, our mail. I mean, coming into the year, that's what this guy was. This guy was not intended to be a starting jungler in the LCS. He has Jensen having one of, really, as far as I can remember, one of the worst splits that Jensen's had in a while. I don't think Jensen has necessarily been bad, but he's just been so nothing, like not good or bad. Like, he hasn't been dominant. He hasn't been great. He, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not saying, like, Jensen has been one of the, best he's in the conversation for the best mid laner of the split nothing like that when in years past he has been then he has tactical who is a very very inconsistent 80 carry i mean like this team overall is just not good so, so to say that alfari is getting leads and they're losing so alfari must just not know how to win i think it's very very surface level i think it's a very bad take and then freak saying that he didn't do this in the, he didn't he did the same stuff in the lec as well that's absolutely insane. That is absolutely crazy. So we take a look at Alfari's results um, in the LEC. And yes, he does have some bad results. And yes, in summer of 2020, which was the most recent split, if that's all that Freak watched of him, he went 6-12 and on Origin. They got last place. That is what happened. But other than that... He has a ton of amazing results. Honestly, he finished third in the LEC Spring Split in 2020. He finished second in the LEC Spring Split in 2019. He finished second in the LEC 2019 Spring Playoffs, losing to G2 in the finals. But also, one of the biggest things here is that Alfari was on the 2017, yeah, 2017 Misfits team that went to Worlds, made it out of groups at Worlds, won in the quarterfinals, and then lost a five-game series to SKT and Faker, a series that was absolutely winnable, a series that they probably should have won, and they could have potentially made it to the semifinals at Worlds. Like, that would have been absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't mean I didn't mean they won in the quarterfinals. They they lost in the quarterfinals to SKT. They could have made it to the semifinals. They, they probably should have made it to the semifinals um, at that world. And it was crazy. It was absolutely insane. That's one of the best uh, kind of Western performances of all time, especially back then. This is when Korea was unbeatable. This is when we didn't have all the upsets we have today. This is before Fnatic made world finals, before G2 made world finals. Um, and, you know, he's, how far he has results. He has performed. He has been this lane dominant guy who does know how to convert this stuff into wins. He's done it in the LEC. He's done it in the LCS. So for Freak to say um, that he doesn't know how to win or he's a loser or whatever and he lost in the LEC and he lost in the LCS really makes absolutely no sense. I'm all for hot takes. I'm all for the desk trying to be more interesting, trying to throw out more stuff. But um, I definitely think Freak was a little bit off on this one. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I'd appreciate it so, so much. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content. Um, consider checking out my Patreon, patreon.com slash I am germ. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.